Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, you guys know the drill. If you guys could please smash that like button, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys could leave a comment down below, I don't care what it is. It super helps the channel out. It is Saturday morning. It's bright and early. We're back in the shop. Um, I know I'm usually not here on Saturday, so this is a little bit different. Carmen had some plans today, so I thought what a good time to come in and go ahead and get this 1968 Chevy C10 painted. So I'm also filming on a different device today. I left my camera at home, so we are filming on a brand new iPhone 13 Pro. A little bit different than what I'm used to filming on, uh, but the quality seems to be pretty good, so I thought it'd be kind of fun and unique to shoot on the iPhone 13 Pro today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments on the quality of the video today. Uh, well, let's just jump in the booth. All week, I was busy, 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 and the C10 ended up becoming more of Let's just say this, I got more in depth on the C10 than originally I was going to do. So in the last vlog, I kind of showed you guys an update of how um, I was getting ready to sand the inside of the cab. Basically, originally a week ago, I was just gonna get this truck in here and get it the exterior sanded and get it sprayed. And then later on, I was gonna maybe um, do the engine compartment and maybe possibly do the inside of the cab at some point and do it up in sections. But I just knew if I just painted the outside, I just wouldn't be happy enough to, to drive it. I would still think it's ratty. I just wouldn't feel confident. Plus, taping off the exterior of the vehicle after you, you to paint the inside or the engine compartment um, sometimes is a pain in the butt so you don't get overspray on it. Also, it could pull paint potentially, especially on a rig like this where there's multiple layers of paint. Paint's 50 years old. We have the 1968 Chevy C10 in the booth. It is up on jack stands right now. We have front and rear wheel covers over the wheels and tire. We have the engine bagged. We got a couple things taped off. I didn't go crazy. The windows covered on the outside and the inside. At some point, removing the glass and uh, redoing the, the window track seals and uh, all that good stuff at some point. But for now, you can see we have our fuel tank taped off. We have our blinker lever taped off, headlight switch, window wiper switches, and we have our key ignition. You can see we got our glove box out, our dash pad off. Front and rear glass have been cut out and removed. Dome light out. Um, ignore the floor. That is going to get sanded and you pull Raptor linered at some point when we most likely do the bed. So maybe in a week or two, we'll go ahead and do that. I wanted to leave the original rivets inside the original VIN tags. And uh, you can see I got those taped off. So Everything's really hard to sand on these things. So we just, obviously you can see, we sanded the absolute hell out of everything. And anything that was kind of hard to sand, we took our big, large wire brush and we just wire brushed the hell out of everything. I mean, we're talking inside the jams, everything. We also did the jam of the tailgate, tail light pockets, our rear roll pan. We sanded the front top part of the bulkhead. I had to use a slide hammer and pull this out a little bit. Um, I stuck my hand down there as deep as I could, sanded. We sanded in here, we wire brushed. We did take our glove box off. We sanded the entire top part of the roof. We took our visors off. Now, of course, I don't have new everything to go on this vehicle, but we'll be doing one thing at a time. Um, we're not doing a full rest though, like I said on this vehicle, but we are trying to clean it up. We're gonna do a nice satin hot rod black on it, vintage style. Um, door logos with a pinup girl. I went ahead and did the engine compartment. We've already painted the underhood and the cowl, so I do have the underhood exposed. So we're going to go ahead and come in here and uh, spray some black epoxy primer inside and out of every crevice. We're going to do a little bit of seam sealing first, too. I have brand new window rubber to go around the windshield and around the rear glass. All the chromes in a box, polished up, ready to go. We have new lighting, new lenses, new bulbs. Here's our glove box. We have our label taped off on the inside. It's our front grill and our front roll pan. So we do have this thing up on some jack stands. Um, of course, we're not gonna be painting in there or anything. So there you have it. I'm super pumped. So today I'm gonna get ready. I've already wiped this thing down yesterday before I left the shop. It's all masked up. It's ready to go. So I'm gonna turn the booth on. I'm heating the shop up right now. I'm gonna flip the booth on, get this thing blown off one more last time. I'm gonna go ahead and make up, mix up a large batch of black epoxy primer. We're gonna load it up in the gun and we're just gonna start shooting. So we're gonna start probably with the engine compartment and inside the cab, as well as the jams. We'll work our way to the outside of the vehicle. We're not gonna shut the doors completely. We're just gonna kind of lightly close them as we're spraying. So we'll use our hand on the glass like that, carefully 
just like that. We'll go ahead and coat the outside. Um, but the main objective with this was to make sure that we get everything sanded and anything loose, any loose debris, roughed up, wire brushed, blowing off, um, anything that's flaking off the vehicle and get this thing in a state where when we spray it black, um, we don't have paint flaking off in a few months or a few years. So I'm pretty confident that the way we've prepped this vehicle, the paint is gonna stick and it's gonna give us some great protection for years to come and uh, also give us a pretty cool look that we can get away with, um, especially after we do the assembly of some new parts. And of course, I'm um, sure once we start assembling, we're gonna start doing more and more and more. At some point, if we ever wanna restore it, at least we did a good enough job to preserve this truck, that way it could be torn apart and restored if we ever wanted to. We're gonna go turn the booth on, we're gonna get some paint mixed up, we're gonna throw the mask on, we're gonna get spraying this thing. Okay, so what we're using on this, we're gonna use some Omni MP172. Now it's a black epoxy primer. It is made by PPG. Um, we're gonna be, be mixing that two to one with MP175, this is the catalyst. We're also gonna to toss a little bit of reducer, probably about 20% reducer, um, to get it to flow out the gun good and go in the cracks and crevices and flow into the scratches and stuff like that. So we have uh, plenty of this. We have an extra quart here and I also have another quart and we have some plenty of hardener. We're gonna be using, mixing that up two to one in our cup right there. We're gonna be using an LPH Iwata 400 HPLP spray gun. And then after that, we are gonna be using the Eurochem Hot Rod Black. This is a four to one to one. So we got four parts of urethane paint. We're gonna be using one part activator and one part reducer as well. Now, I already did do the cowl on the hood and I, been, I did that on um, Tuesday and it is Saturday and it's still kind of like a, uh, it's pretty soft, like kind of like a rubber right now. It definitely took a couple days to harden up. So I like to keep a little bit of leftover paint in a cup like this sometimes just to kind of see how long it takes to fully harden and actually start to crack. So right now we kind of have like a rubber feeling paint and uh, it's been about, let's see here, about four days. Here is the hood already done. Of course it's cured, a little bit dusty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we did do black epoxy primer underneath the hood. Now that's not gonna be exposed by the sun. Black epoxy primer by itself will fade and kind of chalk out over time. So it is important that we actually do do the hot rod black over this. It does have a hardener in it and should hold up a lot better than the sun. I'll throw a link in the description on where I got it. It's from thecoatingstore.com. We also have our cowl panel. Came out awesome. Sitting on the truck seat and our black epoxy primer on the back side. No reason to put the hot rod black on the underside as it's never going to be seen. Um, it's just important that we get everything coated in the epoxy primer for protection. Do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens I ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow there she is guys. Now it's still of course doing its thing and curing so it still has a little bit of sheen to it. It's going to die back a little bit more but um, that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. Now I forgot to mention this but this is a still in front lip that I've had, the still in part. So I went ahead and uh, plastic prepped that real quick, added some adhesion promoter and uh, put about three coats of the satin black finish on that as well. Now I don't wanna touch the door but um, I was able to get it coated nice on the inside, ignore the floor. 
Ignore the bed, that's all gonna get Raptor linered. This side's a little bit nicer because this side did have some high build primer and a lot of the imperfections um, taken out. Um, but the other side's a little more on the rough side. There's a lower roll pan, tailgate. Now, I went ahead and did the jams as well. So here's the passenger side. So this is what I'm talking about. The passenger side definitely has some uh, imperfections, but uh, um, that's okay. That's what we were kind of going for. So I did end up doing about three coats on the exterior of this. And actually, I do believe that the third coat um, did leave for a better look. Went ahead and did the door shell completely on the inside. Coated the door jam, the roof of the cab, the back wall of the cab, and of course the face of the dash. And I definitely put about four good coats on the top of the dash just because that's gonna be exposed um, to the sunlight through the windshield. Not much to it, but we totally made this truck go from an eyesore to a uh, acceptable to put together and drive. Definitely loving how the front looks. Here is our glove box. They're still on lip. This is gonna continue to um, cure for the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Um, this will be dried to the touch in about three hours. Of course, it's gonna sit over the rest of the weekend and uh, we'll probably unmask this thing Monday morning and give you guys an update. Super happy. Can't wait to put the hood on, the cowl on, get the windshield. Um, the rear glass in, can't wait to get the rest of the chrome, all the new lights and lenses, LEDs, license plates. Um, I wanna get that lower balance put on. Um, we do need to get some wheels and tires for this thing. And we are searching for an artist to do the vintage door logos as well as the pinup girl. Um, if you guys know of anybody, hit me up. Let's take some wheel covers off and see what she looks like without the wheel covers. Starting to look like a truck again, guys. This is very inexpensive, quick way to do your truck um, because restoring a truck can be very expensive. Not everybody has the resources, the money, the place to do it or the time to do a full restoration. Doing something like this can um, show that you kind of took your time to do something nice. Um, of course, it's not like show car nice, but um, it's gonna be sweet and you're gonna get lots of compliments wherever you go. Definitely recommend the Hot Rod Satin Black from the coating store. I'll leave a link down in the description, thecoatingstore.com. Um, it says they're Hot Rod Satin Black. It's a four to one to one. You can get it in quart kits or gallons. Um, so do suggest this. Looks pretty good. I'm super happy. Stay tuned guys for the assembly of the vehicle. And uh, we'll definitely be looking for an artist and some different wheels and tires and get rid of these. Get a cool stance on this thing. We'll get that front lip mounted on the bottom. We'll get some big meats in the back, some little skinnies in the front, and uh, um, we'll air up the bags in the back, give it a little bit of a rake. We'll get our, all our trim in. So super pumped. Um, down the road, we'll probably um, install new door rubber, um, window rubber, and stuff like that. So, um, but you know what? Doing it like this, where we took our time to take it apart and to actually sand and wire brush, and blow everything that was loose and get all the debris off, we were able to ensure that this spray job will actually adhere and bond and won't just be flaking off in a couple years or a few months. So anyways, like this video guys, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Right. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show? I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah you gotta go. Man, I'm on the chase now, leave me on my own I got a chance to break now, here I fucking go Take control of fate now, I control my flow And I know that I'll be great how, putting on a show I know that I'ma stay loud, drowning out the nose The haters always thinking that they could fucking break me They're better off beating their own words like pastries Hate me, and you better find some fucking safety I'm coming in hot like a bad bitch and pasties, they can't say